BigQuery is a fully managed petabyte scale, low cost analysis warehouse. You can access and share analytics insights in your organization with a few clicks. While BigQuery has robust security and governance controls to keep your data safe within your organization, it's important to keep sensitive data inaccessible to unauthorized third parties and reduce data exfiltration risks. Event Threat Detection is a built-in service for the Security Command Center Premium Tier that continuously monitors your organization and identifies threats within your system in near real time. It includes a finding type for BigQuery data exfiltration, which can help alert you when an unauthorized actor attempts to extract or expose sensitive data in BigQuery, whether on purpose or by accident. BigQuery data exfiltration works by examining audit logs for two scenarios. A resource is saved outside your organization or a copy operation is attempted that's blocked by VPC service controls, or an attempt is made to access BigQuery resources that are protected by VPC service controls. In order to use BigQuery data exfiltration, first enable event threat detection with an SCC premium subscription. If you want to set up ETD, check out our episode on how to use event threat detection. Let's imagine a malicious actor was tasked with stealing the financial dataset from the organization GCP Sec Demo Org. They attempt to push results to an external table located in a different Google Cloud organization, project, and BigQuery destination table. If the GCP Sec Demo Org organization did not have ETD enabled, the malicious actor can quickly perform the query and extract data to another project under a new table if they have the right permissions. While the action is logged, it happens mostly under the radar. By the time someone notices, the job will be complete and the data has likely been exfiltrated. Luckily, this organization has enabled ETD, and when the malicious actor attempts, ETD will surface the finding immediately, including when it was discovered, the category, under source properties, the project found in, and data associated with the exfiltration attempt, including the detection category and rules exfiltration to an external table. And job state succeeded. Below, you can find the destination BigQuery dataset and table IDs, and the person who submitted the job. The finding directly links to the job, so that if the job had not yet succeeded, you can now follow the link and stop the job before completion. You can also add a VPC service perimeter by heading to the VPC service control console. Service perimeters are an organization level method to protect Google Cloud services in your projects in order to mitigate the risk of data exfiltration. Give it a name, leave perimeter type as default, and select enforced mode to prevent access to protected services. Select the project, Restricted Services, BigQuery API, VPC Accessible Services, Access Level, and click Save. The idea is that the legitimate users of the dataset are aware of the perimeter violation. If some malicious actor got access to the dataset but was not aware of the perimeter, attempting to exfiltrate or even legitimately use BigQuery at all would result in the violation finding being generated. Now, if the malicious actor attempts to exfiltrate financial data from BigQuery to an external table again, they are blocked. VPC service controls request is prohibited by organization's policy. VPC service controls. Going back to the SEC threats page, a new finding under the BigQuery data exfiltration category has surfaced, showing the VPC perimeter violation. Congratulations, you've set up BigQuery data exfiltration using event threat detection for security command center and learned how to respond to a finding from it. 